Hey there, this is Oscar from Toshio Gaming, and today is Sunday, so it's my day off, really. I'm, I'm just gonna play games that are not strategy games. You already know the how the thing goes. So, I got this game recently, which is PC Building Simulator. And it's as wacky as it sounds. It's a simulator game where you have a uh, a PC kind of sh uh, repair store, and you have clients. They send in their their PCs. You have to repair them. You have to like format the operating system, clear viruses, stuff like that. And actually, it, I think it's a very nice tool if you're unfamiliar with the innards of a PC to kind of learn where the CPU goes, how to put a GPU in, in case you want to learn how to change PC parts and all that. It's pretty decent. Let's have a look. Alright, so I just started my career like uh, one mission ago, so uh, this is my computer repair store. I've got some nice shelves here and uh, I can buy another table, another, another table there, I can buy a cabinet for storing stuff. This is basically what I have, just a table and a, a personal computer for myself and a screen, keyboard and mouse ready to put in the client's PC there if I need to do anything. So I basically finished the job and I have to exit the door if I want time to advance. So I'm gonna end the day, that's right. And I already accepted some jobs for tomorrow, Tuesday. Which is, if I believe correctly, one was to change a GPU and the other one was to uh, put in a power supply unit and, and another power supply unit. So I'm going to end the day. Uh, I did order those stuff off the internet already and they take a day to come. So that's why I have to make time advance and as you can see, we already have those pieces here. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, it was not a power supply unit. It was a SSD. No, not an SSD. It's a hard drive. Normal hard drive. Okay, go to work. My parts are here. New parts have arrived. Got the boxes to put them in your inventory. So these are the orders. Collect them. Hard drive and the graphics cards. GeForce GTX 970. That's right. So I pick them up. And these are the PCs of my clients. So let's start with G. Walters. He wants the hard drive, the, the new hard drive I just bought in his PC. So I'm going to pick up this PC here and we're going to plug it into the screen right there. So um, this has to really click here. I need to plug in all the stuff. Let's go to cables. So let's plug in the mouse, because I'm going to need the mouse to operate the computer. What is this part here? This is the keyboard. Let's plug in the keyboard, of course. Oops. So let's go there. This cable connects somewhere to the screen. Yeah, there's the screen. Goes to the HDMI. And then we have the power supply, which goes to the power supply unit. It's ready to boot, so let's press P to power up the computer. It's powering up, which is nice. Okay, it works perfectly. Now the job that I have to do, let's, let's just turn off the computer. Uh, I need to, <coughs> sorry, install a hard drive. So we're gonna have to remove the side panel. Let's take off the screws, take off the screws. And let's see, this is uh, this guy's computer. That is his old hard drive. Let's remove it. Somehow. Oh, I need to open the other side panel, it seems. So let's remove those screws. And it goes out. And I still need to remove these cables, it seems. Well, you know what? I'm actually doing a big mistake here. I'm operating the inside of a computer without unplugging the PSU. That's bad. I actually have to unplug everything just in case. That would be the optimal thing to do. Alright, so I have to unplug the H 
the hard drive from the motherboard and we've got another cable which is the power so let's unplug that now we can remove the hard drive which comes out all right so let's install the memory oh i don't have where is it storage there we go sorry i was checking in memory which is ram so he wants a five 500 gigabyte hard drive let's let's install that let's put it here and now we have to plug it in so let's go with cable connect the PSU and let's connect it to the motherboard so now we have a 500 gigabyte hard drive connected to the power supply unit of this PC and another cable that connects it to the motherboard so it can receive information. So I think we can put on the side panels back on again. So let's go here. The side panel. Let's just put it here. Screw it back in. There we go. Uh, the other one here. That's it. Uh, let's connect the stuff to the computer. We're going to boot it up to check if the computer actually works. Let's press P. It's booting up. Mega system. And it's done. Great. So this is a job well done. So with this computer done, let's pick it up and we're going to send it back to our client. I'm going to put it there. Now, the other one. This guy wants us to remove viruses and clean out dust. Alright. Oh yeah, just looking at it, it is a pretty dusty computer, it seems. Let's place it there. Now. Let's check if the PC can boot to the OS. Oh, first it's going to give us the cleaning tutorial. Press the install button and get the compressed air from your tools. You then click on the PC's components to blow away the dust until it has all been removed. Right, let's let's do that then first. Uh, let's just remove the side panel. We can get into the intestines of this PC. It's quite dirty, really. I wonder where this guy lives to get this quantity of dust. I mean, isn't he bothered that he can't clean it on his own? I mean, this is... This is cleaning a computer in the inside is pretty easy to do. So, let's see. Compressed air blow away the dust. Bye bye dust. There we go. Cleaning this. Cleaning that. And it's clean. Oh, no, there's still some dust around here. Oh, that's very dusty indeed. Any more dust? No, I think that's it. Clean out dust. Great. Alright. Uh, we better put this Put the uh, parts back at side panels. Now that's clean. And we're gonna install the other side panel. Like this. And I would install the cables. Oops. Connect. Connect. HDMI and power supply unit. Let's power on the computer. So it's booting up, it's booted. And it seems to have lots of viruses, which is what we have to clean. Uh, Alright. You know what? We're going to... We're going to put one of our pen drives, USB drives, in here. Which has a... Um, has an antivirus that we're going to use. So we put the pen drive in. And now we're going to operate add programs we're going to add the virus scanner which is installing installing All right restart the computer yes loading into omega operating system we already have the virus scanner installed so let's double click that let's start scanning oh that's a lot of infected files Oh yes, clean files. Done! 
This computer is a okay. All right, so this computer's done. Let's power it off. Let's pick it up. And we're going to leave it by the door for another job well done. So that's all the PCs we had for today. We're going to check our email to see if we have any more jobs. This is the bank basically telling me that I'm in negative numbers, but that's okay. Discard. Okay, this guy, this guy's job is done. We can collect the payment. It was $330. This guy wanted us to remove the viruses. That's done as well. That's $100. And we got new emails. All right, so let's check this one first from Audrey1945. Hi, I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly. It's been, getting, it's been getting very hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. Probably it is. If you do have to replace the fan, then please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. So, for this one, we would re be receiving $270. Replace the air cooler and clean out the dust. Fairly simple. I'm going to accept this job. That means that we also have to buy a new fan for the computer. And it's the cheapest one, she asks, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, another job. Let's see. Hi, I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs lots of RAM, apparently. She says she needs 16 gigabytes and I've currently got 2 gigabytes and 4 RAM slots on my motherboard. Thanks, Joff. So, upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM, that means we're going to have to change the motherboard. Yeah, it's going to be a bit costly for this guy, perhaps. I'm going to accept it. We're going to have to buy a new motherboard for this guy. And Queen Brittany. My graphics card has fried itself and I need it to be replaced with the same one, please, an NVIDIA GTX 970. Okay, yeah, I already got the... I already got the graphics card ordered, so let's accept it. It's just a simple graphics card change there. And these are the thank you emails. Hi there, I just want to say you thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting faster than it has in years. Nice. And the virus scan, which I already did. Okay, so let's go to the shop online. We do need a fan. Seat case fans. These are extremely cheap. But you know what? I don't actually know the size she needs. That's weird. Hold on. Let me check the email a second. Replace the air cooler. So, oh, she wants me to replace the air cooler at the back. Okay. All right. Okay. The cheapest one. These are both the same price. The M9A and M9I. The only thing that changes is that different sockets. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what socket she has. But you know what? I'm just going Oh, wait. There's a, actually a cheaper one. More 20 Thermal 100. Quite shitty, but yeah, I'll just buy this one for $10. All right, uh, what else do we need to buy? Place the air cooler. Oh, we're gonna have to get another motherboard. So, Runtech DDR4. These are all DDR4, which is nice. Oh crap, we don't have to change the motherboard, it's just a RAM thing. I mean, he has. I currently got 2 gigabytes and 4 RAM slots on my motherboard. So, yeah, of course, I just read that wrong. He has actually 4 RAM slots, and only one of those slots has a 2 gigabyte RAM card. So, basically, we need RAM in those slots to add 16. So let's go to memory. 
so we actually just need maybe two eight gig gigabyte ones I guess if the daughter needs 16 gigabytes it's for gaming purposes so we're gonna go with probably well wow, this this could be too expensive for the guy maybe we're gonna go with the uh, Sean Titan XL 8 gigabytes gonna add two to the cart and there we go so we've got a CPU cooler and two 8 gigabyte uh, RAM slot cards so that's done we don't have to buy anything else let's buy these items that should arrive tomorrow and there we go so all the PCs are gonna arrive tomorrow the parts are gonna arrive tomorrow let's leave the workshop and go to Wednesday here we are so here are the PCs and here are the deliveries the air cooler and the RAM nice so first off let's start off with the RAM one the RAM computer yeah it does look like a gaming PC the daughter is a gamer so yeah I, pr I probably chose the best RAM for her so first off um, I'm gonna install the RAM there's the RAM slot yeah just two gigabytes let's open the little thingy majiggies here and let's remove it and now we're gonna install the two RAMs that I bought is one oh, no it's open here there we go one goes there let's open the second slot and install the other RAM card here and it's installed so 16 gigabytes of memory we're gonna put in the side panel and now we're gonna connect the mouse keyboard and power just to check if it works it should work properly let's press P power booting up and it boots fantastic so this is a good job done so we're gonna send this back to its owner as we put it over here so I don't these are the finished orders for me okay this one Queen Brittany what was wrong with this one I'm not mistaken this is the oh replace the graphics card all right right so let's uh, work with this let's remove the side panel remove the screws like so and wow that's a big CPU cooler it's giant actually so here's the graphics card it's the old one it's fried so we're gonna take off the screw out it goes and let's install the other one this one's broken this is the new one yeah. put it back in put the screw and we're gonna install the side panel screw it back in there we go that's done let's connect the uh, cabling there we go and let's power it up it's booting to the OS booted perfectly it booted perfectly okay let's power it off and let's leave it by the door and this is this is basically the game it's PC building simulator it's quite fun actually I, I, I like it a lot all right so let's see this is the dusty one isn't it yeah replace the air cooler and clean out the dust all right uh, let's remove the case out it goes that's extremely dusty Hold on, tools, compressed air. Let's just remove all the dust first. And blow it all out. Um, there's a spot of dust I can't reach there. There we go. All right, it's been dusted successfully. Uh, now we're going to remove the air cooler 
So to remove the air cooler, we have to unplug it from the motherboard. And now we can remove it. There's the CPU. So now we're going to pick up CPU cooling and put the Mortoni Thermal. It's actually the broken one is also a Mortoni Thermal 100, so not bad. That's that's fine. All right, so mm, do I want to twist it? No, it goes fine like that. And it goes. And now we're going to plug it into the motherboard. That's the air cooler there. Connected. And now we're going to put back the side panel. Like this. And we're going to connect all the cabling. Please connect. Like this. PSU. Power on. Booting to the OS. Boots perfectly. So, oh, oh crap, I forgot. CPU needs thermal paste. Crap. That is completely correct. People usually forget to put on the thermal paste. Alright, silly me. Anyway, uh, let's unplug from the motherboard, remove it. There's the CPU. Uh, let's go to tools, thermal paste. There we go. On the thermal paste, and now we have to install back the CPU cooler, which goes in like that. And let's cable it back into the motherboard, and let's install the side panel yet again. And now I have to check again if it boots to the OS. Yeah, works perfectly, flawless. And we're gonna leave it by the door. That is three computers that we fixed today, which is very productive. I like it. Let's check our email. Uh, delete the bank one. So the air cooler job is done. Collect the money. Uh, well, 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 well. All right. The 16 gigabyte RAM is also done. Collect the money. The broken graphics card is done. Collect the money. People thanking me, of course. Got new emails. I've reached level two, so I've locked. I've unlocked Cryor Case Fan Six Gen Intel Core Processors Auto Connect Tool, and I can buy new PC parts. I fives, I threes, I sevens. Nice. And we got more jobs. Yeah, more jobs, which we can we can do another day. Perfectly. This was just a quick look. Uh, at a game I, I'm actually having lots of fun with. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's been pretty fun. This is PC Building Simulator. You can buy it on Steam or your favorite um, online digital store like Humble Bundle or Green Man Gaming. This has been Oscar, and I'll see you later.